Hello everyone, I am Chase, Rocky Mountain HVMC, giving you a closer look at the Cryos Pro Helmet from Klein. All right, so today we're giving you a closer look at the all new Krauss Pro Helmet coming from Klein. This is brand new for 2019. This is their premium adventure touring dual sport helmet. A few years back, we saw them come out with the Cryos, which in my opinion was pretty innovative, super lightweight, very comfortable, some cool features built in, but now they've refined it, they've updated and improved a couple of things, and a cool new safety feature built in is the use of cord. We'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. So before we dive in and we talk about the features, let's talk about Fitman real quick. So something I feel that Climb has done really well with this helmet is the fit. Fitment's true to size, very comfortable, super lightweight helmet. I'll talk about that. But remember, if you buy this helmet, and that goes for any helmet that we sell at Rocky Mountain, we have our fit guarantee. If you get it, if you're not happy with the size and where they fit, send it back to us in brand new unused condition. We want to make sure you get the size and the fitment that you are looking for. So send it back in brand new unused condition, and we give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So I mentioned that this helmet is lightweight. Well, very lightweight weighed it myself, a size large, comes in at just over three pounds. So for me personally, this is the lightest dual sport adventure touring helmet that I've picked up personally. So for riders that are looking for a lightweight helmet, this would be a really good option. And the way they keep it so lightweight is they use a hand laid carbon fiber shell. So I'll give you a little 360 view here. So I really like the look of the shell design. You can see that carbon fiber weave in there. You see on the back, you can be a DOT and ECE certified. So for me personally, I just think that a lighter helmet, when you're spending a lot of hours in a helmet, it's just gonna have less fatigue on the rider's head and the rider's neck. And trust me, it might not sound like a lot, when you, but when you pick up this helmet, you will notice it is very, it feels just very, very lightweight. So with that carbon fiber shell, again, that's what's helping to keep it so lightweight. You look at it, they've also updated the venting this year for, this, for the Krause Pro. So looking at the mouth vent here, so with the previous model, this vent, you could not open and close it. So now they have changed that. So you have this tab right here in the front. So that just allows you to open and, clo open and close that. Control the venting also if you want. That might help keep some of the air noise down as well. You also have another vent up here on the top, just underneath the visor. This one also actuates. So this one can open and close. If we flip it around, we look at the back here, you'll notice that they do have the spoiler up here on the top. So that's to help with the aerodynamics of the helmet, also help reduce buffeting. And then you're gonna see you've got these exhaust vents here on the back to help that air escape the helmet. But a big factor to deal with the venting with this helmet is that choroid material, which we'll talk about a little bit more. But overall, this helmet's gonna do a great job, especially in those warmer conditions. So with the visor, you see here, Lots of big cutouts on the visor to help get as much airflow as possible. Again, at higher speeds, you don't wanna have buffeting. So having those cutouts there, that's gonna help reduce any drag. Now also what I do like about their visor design is that you do have some adjustability. You've got the center knob right here in the center. Just gonna loosen that and then you'll notice I can move that visor back and forth. So if the sun's coming down, you wanna lower that visor to block the sun just a little bit more. Or maybe you're riding in off-road conditions, you wanna have it down to block some roost. Again, they give you some adjustability there. Also, what I really like about this visor is how easy it is to remove it. There's a lot of different configurations that you can do with this helmet. You can rock it as is with the visor and shield. You could have those shield up, wear a set of goggles, or you could just take the visor off and you can rock it as a street helmet. And the way you take the visor off, real simple. You have these knobs on each side or these screws it's literally just a 90 degree turn on each side allows this, the visor just to pop right off so very easy to do so if you're interchanging lenses or excuse me shields you can see I've got a smoke shield up here they just simplify that process make it very easy very quick to do now speaking of the shield like I just mentioned, different colors available. I've got the smoke up here. What's cool though is that this helmet does come included with a transitions photochromatic lens. And what I mean by that is that in the sunny conditions, if it's bright outside, the lens will automatically darken. And then as the light goes away, maybe transition into some night riding, the lens will become clear again. So that lens will come included. Also, this shield does come pin lock ready, which is an anti-fog system, one of the best that is out there. I actually have the pin lock shield that comes included as well with this helmet. So you can see on the shield, you have these pins, one on each side. So what you do is you take the pin lock shield that comes included, it goes on the inside, you just pop it on there, almost like a tear off on a motocross goggle. And what that does, it creates a barrier, keeps it separates the warm air from the cold. So it's just a really good anti-fog system. Again, that's going to come included with the helmets. Now, as far as how the shield opens, you've got a tab down here on the left side. So I'll pop this open. You're gonna have multiple detents on the way up, nice and sturdy. So when you have it, one of those detents, I think the shield's gonna do a great job staying in place. That's completely open. Now they say with this open, 
that you could rock a set of goggles. They have a picture showing that. Now you'll notice, so I just wanna point out, you see that the shield does still kind of overlap that eye port, so it might not be the best fitment with the goggle strap. Could you make it work? I think so. But if you were going to wear this with goggles on, I would recommend just taking the shield off because we already showed you how quick and easy it is to do. But in any case, like I said, a lot of cool configurations that you can do with this. So if I close this up real quick, I'll show you before I do that though, you got this nice big seal going all around the eye port. So when you do close it, it's just gonna give a good tight seal. So that's the outside. Now let's work our way to the inside. So first thing you'll notice here, it's pretty cool with their chin straps, a system that you're not gonna see on any other helmets called their Fidlock system. So it's actually magnetic. So what I like about this is how easy it is to use even if you have a thicker glove on. So to undo the chin strap, all you have to do is just take this red tab and pull down. It is that easy to open up the chin strap. So it's a magnetic system. You'll see how it works here. I'll let that just close. So once it's closed though, I can take this and I can literally pull as hard as I can, that chin strap is not going anywhere. And that has to pass the DOT and EC certifications. So yes, they do test that chin strap, but I just love how easy that is to remove. So there's your chin straps. Pop out the cheek pads here. So what's interesting with these cheek pads is that you're not gonna have any snaps. They're actually using Velcro instead. So a little bit easier to get out. Pop the other one out here. So there are your cheek pads. Again, these are washable, so if you want to, just throw in the wash machine, dry and put them back in the helmet, you are good to go. Pop out the neck roll and the rest of the comfort liner here. So there is your comfort liner. Now you notice right here that you do have these indents on the inside. Now they're not gonna say that they have speaker cutouts on this helmet, which I personally wish they would, but because you do have those indents, I think you're gonna be okay rocking a set of Bluetooth speakers in there. But also keep in mind that Climb has teamed up with Cena, so they do offer a 10U from Cena that has full integration with this helmet. So if you wanna wear a Bluetooth comms unit, check out the 10U from Cena. But when you look at the inside, you can notice there's your EPS liner. You can see massive cutouts to help with the venting and the airflow. But what you'll notice there, that is the choroid that I mentioned earlier. So Climb is the only company that I have seen using choroid in their helmet construction. And if you're not too familiar with choroid, let's talk about it. So what makes choroid unique, if you ever look at it, what it is, it's actually little small tubes that are actually welded together. And there's a couple unique properties about choroid. One, since it's small tubes welded together, it's still about 95% air. So it keeps whatever it is super lightweight. That's how they keep the weight down with this helmet. So super lightweight also because it is so much air, it does a great job when it comes to breathing and venting. So that's gonna help promote more airflow through the helmet. And thirdly is the impact absorption. So what Climb is saying is that choroid can absorb up to 48% more of an impact than just a traditional EPS liner. And the reason that it's able to do that is because that choroid structure, it will compress, it will compact, and it doesn't get firmer and firmer the more it compresses, as whereas with EPS liners, it does a great job absorbing impact, but the more it compresses, the firmer it gets, and so it actually hardens up more and more. The choroid doesn't do that. So overall, they say it does a much better job of absorbing and dispersing energy, and that's what you're getting here. And where they have inside the helmet, it's gonna be essentially from the crown the, towards the back of the helmet, this whole area is gonna be utilizing that choroid material. So it's pretty unique that Climb is using that. Again, just with safety in mind, how can you better absorb energy and disperse it if a rider were to go down and have one of those impacts? And that is it. That is the Cryos Pro helmet coming from Climb. Again, super lightweight very comfortable, a lot of cool features that are built in. You're making a big investment here, around 700 bucks, but if that is what you're in the market for, this is going to do the job. Now they do still have the regular Cryos helmet, which is gonna save you about 150 to 200 bucks, but it's not gonna have that choroid. So depending on your budget, you have a couple different options there. If you have any other questions or comments, leave those below, we'll get your questions answered. To pick up yours, it is very simple. Just head over to rockymountatvmc.com or click on the link after this video. Remember, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight, you wanna see more just like it, we'll make sure to get subscribed to our YouTube channel. That way you stay up to date and in the loop on the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.